Hi guys and welcome back to Alternative Inverts. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to make your own fruit fly culture. And we're going to be using the Dehyde, uh, which are the uh, bigger fruit flies. So you can see I've got some here. And this culture has boomed uh, three times. So this is pretty much what's left full at the moment. So I've left this one. Uh, after it's boomed so I can break it down and make my own a few more cultures. So first thing that we're going to do, uh, we're going to get some of this mixture and I got this kit from uh, Dart Frog, um, which is an online store and I'll put the uh, link down in the description. So I've got some of this which is basically uh, the mix for the bottom. So we're going to put some of the mix in. Uh, we've got some empty tubs we've got the one booming culture and we've got a few of the ones that have already been done before and as you can see you've got some of like the maggots and everything in there so they will um, eventually boom normally they take around 20 days uh, once you've added the fruit flies in um, for them to start you know the population to start growing and start booming out so let's jump straight in and we will make some more so we've got some excelsior here as well and what you want to do is you want to put about the mix should be at the bottom of each one about two centimeters for the bigger fruit flies for the smaller fruit flies uh, which are the I can't remember the name Melignosta flies looking at that um, it should be about one to one and a half centimetres but because we've got the uh, the bigger ones we've got the holiday uh, we will make it around two centimetres there's some of the mix and it's, uh, it's three parts water five parts powder And that should be enough. So you want to add hot but not boiling water to the mix um, and it should make like a creamy sort of mash. We'll just add a little bit for now. Okay. And we'll leave that to cool down. And then we'll do the next one. Okay. And I'm just going to add a little bit more water to this one because this one not done as good okay. so you want to leave those to cool um, and just have a couple of centimetres at the bottom nice mash texture leave it to cool down and same in this one and again a couple of centimetres leave it to cool so this has now cooled down and we've got our mixture inside. Next, we're going to add some of this, which is the Excelsior. Just break it up a little bit. There we go, there's the one. Use the leftovers to do this one as well. And there's the second one. So next you want to make sure you've got your lids to hand. 
with your sponges and you want to make sure these are a nice good fit if you do buy the kit from uh, the website that I've linked below uh, that's darkfrogs.co.uk I believe um, this all comes provided in your kit anyway lids at the ready so what you want to do you want to put around 30 between 30 to 50 uh, fruit flies in each one um, and then you want to literally leave um, the fruit flies to reproduce so as you can see these have started to reproduce in here now and you don't want to use any of them for feeding whilst whilst you're waiting for them to reproduce you want to just leave them be and then when it booms and it goes like this where it's just full of fruit flies that's when you want to start using them and they will boom around two or three times thinking my idea what I'm going to do is use the same method that I use when I'm feeding them so I'm going to put them into this uh, out of the booming, uh, the booming culture put some into this drop them down tip them into the, uh, the new culture there uh, we don't want too many escapees so I think that's the best way to do it normally when feeding I'll put some um, vitamins in into here like your D3 um, and then every two weeks give them vitamin A you can see there's quite a few in there more than enough just keep tapping it down they won't be able to climb So you give them a good tap. You in for my dark frogs. So there we go guys. So that's two cultures made up um, of your fruit flies. Leave them for around uh, 19 to 20 days and they should start reproducing. Um, again, don't use any of these as feeders, leave them be, then you'll notice that your culture will start booming out. You can use them then and then your culture will boom again, uh, maybe once, maybe tw two or three times it normally booms. Um, and use them within around 30 days of the cultures booming as well. Um, so obviously because we've got dark frogs that I feed every two days, uh, we get through quite a lot so I've had to start making my own cultures now. Um, but they're doing alright, it's nice and easy, uh, especially if you've got the kit as well, so you've got the mixture, all you need to do is add the water, leave it to cool before you add the frog with the flows and excelsior in. Um, it just be it, them just fast, that's all. So it can be a little bit, you will get some escapees, squash them as and when. You can't really catch them all because they're bloody too quick by the time they're, you're trying to catch them, the other ones are coming out. Um, I'm not the sensibleist of person, I should have probably done it outside maybe, um, but I've noticed that any I've got I've just squashed. Um, and then, best way to do it, take them out of one of your booming cultures, tip them into a big two point catch cup, um, tap them down into one corner, and then just tip them all in in one go, put the lid on, job's a good one. Remember if you are feeding your fruit flies to dart frogs or anything, make sure that you are adding your supplements, your D3 with every feeding. Um, every two weeks um, I use the vitamin A plus the D3 and then I use super pig I think it's called um, so yeah make sure you check that out and get some of that if you need it as well hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down sorry if I waffled a little bit it's my first time making these cultures um, so it was trial and error I didn't realize how quick they were going to be when you're trying to get out um, but yeah like, comment, subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one guys. See you later. Bye bye.